we had a little issue with the live, so I jumped out of the last video and we're redoing this. Uh, tonight I'm going to show you Beautylish Lucky Bags, the XL bag, and then I also have the regular bag, or it's a box, $75, in the light medium, we believe it is. Normally I get the, the tan to deep, but this year the XL was available. I grabbed the XL as soon as I could and just checked out immediately, and my girlfriend Gina grabbed the X, and I'll show you that. Uh, let me check my, wait a minute, I do the little chat settings here. Hey, Pam. Hey, Nix. Is it clear? Er? <laughs> God, I hope so. Uh, those of you who have not, maybe, all clear. Thanks, Teresa. Oh, yeah, you don't know about today. It was just, wow. Wow. <laughs> if you haven't ordered the Beautylish Lucky Bags, they go on sale the day after Christmas at, like, noon or something it's 75 dollars then they tack on like 10 or 15 bucks for shipping so it's about 90. and then the tag is 150 and i think I paid like 175 i don't know if it was 20 dollars shipping i don't it was something like that <clears throat> and it's a mystery box you don't know what you're gonna get you can get some people get lucky i saw somebody get lucky already i was like damn but it is what it is and of course, I'm going to end up with doubles because I'm a makeup junkie and I just have way too much stuff. But that's, you know, here, neither here nor there. Well, I missed a bunch of my lovely ladies here. Hold on. What am I doing? Miss Laura. All right. We got Teresa, Laura, Pam, Miss Caitlin, Miss Nix. Okay. I'm caught. All right. Miss Teresa. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. This cup says it all today. Yeah. I'll tell you about it real quick. It was... <sighs> Trust me, we're, we're not doing three hours tonight. So I'll, I'll be lucky if we can do an hour. I might show you the two bags and bail. It's, I'm beat. <laughs> well, first off, I actually finally got a massage yesterday. Those of you know, I get deep tissue massages. So I, I'm just dead from that alone, just from the massage. Thank you, Teresa. <laughs> And then today I was like, okay, let me do Greg's laundry. What is it with me with water? <laughs> Walk into my laundry room. Now there's like washer dryer in there. There's another huge closet. And that's actually where the cats like litter boxes are. There's a stand up shower. There was a toilet, but we had taken the toilet out and the sink. So over where the toilet would be, there's like a plug that goes, you know, screws into the floor. So you don't have fumes come out or any of that. And I just had like this plastic rack over it where I was putting all the cat food, you know, stuff, extra whatever on this rack, dishwasher stuff or, or dishwashing, clothes washing, fucking detergent. Oh my God, you can tell I'm already whacked. <clears throat> Open the door and I walk into water going, what the, what, what is this? And I didn't scream. I didn't flip out. I just went, all right. Came around the corner. I knew I had towels to do. I'm like, give me the fucking towels. Started heaving towels on the floor going, well, I thought the pipe maybe underneath the sink went. I'm like, no, that's not wet inside. Like, okay, where is this? So now I proceed to take everything off the, the plastic rack real quick, throw it up on the sink, chuck the thing out in the garage. Like, all right, get this out of here. Who knows? Now, luckily it was just water. One of the pipes going down was fucking plugged. Somehow this thing that is like basically screwed in popped out and the water was coming out where the toilet would be and up through the shower, which is next to it because they're kind of interconnected in a way for like a pipe. And as I, I, didn't, I wasn't screaming, I, you, normally I'd be F-bombing it to hell. I'm just like getting all the water. All of a sudden Greg comes downstairs. He's like, what the fuck? I'm like, dude, I don't know. This is a new one to me. And we spent the next three hours. <laughs> Trying to snake it out. We didn't have a long enough snake. Ours was, I think the longest we had was 15 feet. Sent Greg to the depot, got fucking 50. <laughs> Just like, we're going to go bigger, go home. Had the hose dragged into the fucking house with a high pressure nozzle on the end. <laughs> and we're pretty sure we, I can see, you know, that we got, it's, it's flowing again. It's flowing, but tomorrow I'm going to take goddamn drain out and it's going down every fucking drain in this house. <laughs> Every drain of this house is getting a full bottle of Drano. 
and it is what it is. But I have septic and well water. But I was not expecting this day because I am literally, I feel like I got hit by a truck, then a train ran me over, and then I just got thrown under the bus to boot. <laughs> so between running up and down the stairs, it, it was just, mm. hopefully that'll be done. So, with the water situations in here. Oh, thank you, Pam. Oh, good to know, Teresa, said the, she's telling Laura, the Violet Voss Butterfly palette is more beautiful than the pictures could ever capture. Well, this girl hasn't taken the pictures yet, so, ha, I bet I can capture it. Sephora has it sold out, so you still have to order from the Violet Voss website. Thanks, Teresa. It's just like, yeah. And I'm just thinking, I just wanted a nice, easy day, especially after getting the massage. I mean, he was even on the table, and that's what you know. And like I said, I only get done neck to my ass, basically. You know, hips and all that. We don't do legs. We don't throw in arms. We ain't got time for that. Even by the time we were done with the massage, even she goes, I am fucking beat from beating me up. Because I was even like, girl, this one muscle here on the back, that bitch had been twitching for a month. She's like, that shows you have a fucking big old knot there. I'm like, that's the one we always work out. And so as I came home last night, I slathered myself with four lidocaine patches. Just all over my back to cover my back, the damn thing. But we got the Beautylish bags. So let's play with the Beautylish bags. Girl, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm edible or something. Uh, trust me. Um, this is maybe this much coffee. <laughs> and the rest is rum chata and... Uh, Finished off the bottle of Bailey's. So, yeah. Hi, Miss Patty. I, it's me with the fucking water, though, down here. I'm just like, not again. Like, what, what, what can, why? I mean, my poor husband. I'm just like, we're like fucking part time plumbers at this point. <laughs> but just, uh, just like, come on. So now I am doing his laundry. So you might hear the washer or dryer go off in like 20 minutes or something, give or take. All right. Beautylish XL bag. Everybody showed me I have the boxes on the fucking floor. They always do send with very cute paper. Here's a little card. I ain't fucking reading anything. <laughs> I did write the prices down, yes. Okay. All right. So this is the XL bag. This is the one that cost, well, it's 150 plus fucking shipping. I want to say it's like 170, 175. I swear to God, it was pretty expensive. But I'll just leave it at like it's 150, whatever was shipping. All right. What we got here? Holly Frog skincare. Uh, this is the Halo AHA and BHA evening serum. They make nice products. I haven't like repurchased any. You know, it hasn't gotten me enough to like repurchase something, but the things I have tried from them. Seem nice. Cute little bottle. And this little sucker retails for $58. I think I have like a cleanser from them. Just random items. And you can buy it at either their website, Holly Frog, or definitely at Beautylish. <clears throat> All these products are obviously available at Beautylish. Alright, this I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with because I'm not using this on my face. Uh, this is a Kitsch. It says cleanse ritual micro derma roller for your <laughs> for your textured aging skin seriously ladies these are the ones that roll has a roller there's no way in hell look up mi micro needle or micro derma rollers and the problems they can cause because you have spikes coming down that are sticking into your skin but when it's rolling it makes sense of what you read it of oh when the spikes are coming back out it's almost really giving you a tear i have micro needlers but they're flat and it's just a flat like and you have to one at a time go across there's none of this rolling stuff so the spikes literally go straight in and i'm pulling them straight out and this is pretty cheap this was only 18 bucks there's no way in hell i'm using this on my face not gonna happen because I, when they started coming out with those, it was like, mm, no. Just when I saw probably one video where literally showing the roller that it would be like doing more damage to your skin than it would need. 
I was like, nope, I'll stick with the straight puncture ones. And even those, it's not that fun. I still got wrinkles, y'all see them all the time. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna sleep like a fucking baby tonight. Oh, I can imagine, Laura, the condos. It's all, yeah, and that it comes down to who's all on the board of taking care of you guys. And luckily there wasn't a lot of water. Thank God there was not a lot of water. But even then, I didn't, I just took the towels and fucking hucked them. Just threw, I just threw everything out that was in my path. Oh God, poor Patty had the plumber this week twice. Oh God. One for the sewer, one for the furnace. Yeah. Mine was just, yeah, it's just a clogged pipe. It ain't fucking clogged anymore. Well, I gotta watch Granny's video. I missed about something about a kitty. Wait a minute, you found a... Well, you found a little baby kitten in the bushes. I would have kept her, too. Adorable. All right, what else did I get that's bizarre here? Uh, Briogeo, Scalp Revival Stimulating Therapy Massager. Well, maybe I should go into this. <laughs> I'll buy you. I'll try this in the shower. It's one of these with these numpy things of. You no, know, this is all right. Well, if anything, it might give you. There we go. <laughs> like get the volume we always wanted back in the fucking seventies and eighties. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, eighteen bucks. Well, it's just completely random. I'll, just, I'll, I'll drop that. Uh, Orbe, so how you say it? Uh, Invisible Defense Universal Protection Spray. I will definitely use this. Orbe makes really nice fucking products, but they're really goddamn expensive. How much is this bastard? Yeah, this is $44. <laughs> um, but this has, says Shake and Mist on damp or dry hair prior to styling. Use before hot tools or sun exposure, and it's good up to 450 degrees. See, this is one of those where you can just, it might, maybe it has some SPF in it somewhere. They're proudly approved by PETA. Okay, everything's like recyclable in the auto, which is cool. Uh, I don't see the in ingredients in English, are they on the bottom? I don't know, but if they're saying it's like for heat, then yeah. A little spritz of before you go out in the sun or something. But like I said, there are actual hair products that will say, like it's sun protection for your hair. Because if you spray regular um, sunscreen on your hair, you're going to hate yourself. Because <laughs> I've been there and done it. <laughs> and it was like, oh yeah, don't never do that again. Luckily, our friend Paul's the plumber. So we didn't, he, I think Greg might have called him at one point. And worse came to worse, I would have just called fucking Rotor Ruger and been like, drag your ass. <laughs> oh, Teresa likes the scalp massager. Good to know. Yeah, I'll try it out in the shower. Why the hell not? Uh, good molecules. You know me, I'm always down from the good molecules. I was going to grab all the stuff that I have doubles of, but that didn't happen. You know, I don't want to walk up those stairs again. Uh, this is the glycolic exfoliating toner. It's four fluid ounces. Like I said, on Good Molecules, their ingredients list tells you exactly how much, you know, percentage-wise <clears throat> of every product. And they're very affordable. This is 14 bucks. I have one upstairs already open. Mine's probably at least halfway down. At least. You know me. I love Good Molecules. I've been using them for years. All right. This was completely random. And this is strange that Video List did this. You can't even buy just one of these on Beautylish. It come in a pack of four. This is a slip, pure silk. It's a skinny, scrunchy. I think I even looked on their fucking website and they didn't even have any of singles. So I kind of did the math out and went, is six to eight bucks. I don't know, but it's just like fucking thrown in there because you can't buy just one. All right. Wayne Goss, the essential eye coal. This is in the shade Crystal Merlot, which I don't think I have this shade. This one. Well, my hands are dry as a... Yeah. 
That's why I wore long sleeves down here, and I, I can't pull these sleeves up, so it'll keep me from swatching. It's a kind of reddish. Yeah. I'd probably use it as a lip liner. God damn, my hands are dry. <laughs> I'm not swatching anything. I'm not swatching anything else. Uh, Wayne's Lip Pencil. Or eyeliner. Fucking eyeliner. $14. Oh, I think I have this over here. This I went. Oh, it's fucking very. Let's open it. Uh, Wayne Goss, the luxury eye palette in amber. I already own this. <laughs> There's videos on it. I'm guessing. <laughs> and this is the amber palette. She's a beauty. And this is the celestial shade. It's upside down right now. plastic back in. Put the plastic back in. This already has a new home that it's going to. <laughs> and the Wayne palette is I think 55, right? Yeah, 55 for the Wayne palette. And Shantakai, I was like, ooh, fancy. Uh Shantakai Lip Veil in Ruby. I believe this is just like a holiday kind of shade because it's red. It did last. It had some goddamn good lasting power. I already have lip gloss on. I'll take put it on. It has the magnetic closure, all that. Decent weight to it. <laughs> Y'all gonna fucking laugh. $52 for two and a half grams. <laughs> this is the XL Lucky Bag. Yep. The Wayne palette's really pretty. All oh, his palettes are nice. Ah, uh, Mob Beauty. Now I'm laughing. I Now that I've got my boxes and I said, oh, let me check out what other people got. And nobody had a clue who Mob Beauty is. And I'm just laughing going, I've already done how many videos on Mob? At least three. Going, you're beauty people. Why the hell do you not know about this brand? <laughs> You've heard me talk about Mob. I got a whole drawer of it over here somewhere. I have everything of theirs. And this is giving away too, because I already have this. <laughs> These are individual cases, and then the cream, this is a cream blush. This is um, M72. So, Lily, go find one of my videos that shows Mob Beauty. I think I swatched everything. You'll see this in here. It's beautiful products. Everything's completely recyclable. These are made by real makeup artists. <laughs> this is the packaging, like, the blush came in, and then this is the packaging that had the little package. So, the little package... A little compact if you want the single compact is five dollars and then the cream blush is 25 so that's 30 dollars total and there is i believe two and a half or three grams in here i have it on here 3.2 grams of product so you are getting a damn good amount of product but like i said everything is totally recyclable it's fabulous great brand check them out and you can buy them on Home shopping network too so either mob beauty itself hsn who else had it and beauty lish two more items all right of course i already washed it i <laughs> uh, got a sonia g jumbo worker this this girl's big. <laughs> this is a this is a big brush. <laughs> Even I'm like, what am I gonna do with this? I mean, it could almost take up my whole eye. <laughs> Just go pat and that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Tink tink, eyeshadow's done. But I love me some Sonya G, so I'm like, sure. But yeah, Be beautifully cut. This is your handmade in Japan, but and her brushes along with Wayne's are worth every dime. So yeah, that's the uh, jumbo worker brush which is going right over here so i can figure out what to do with her eventually and then the last product i got in the xl bag is the busy art petite fours lila's do so this is part two <laughs> this one i don't have this is one of the newer ones because i have part one it's called lavender 
lavender, regular lavender, lavender. She loves to spell stuff all crazy. I guess I'm not swatching nothing tonight because I haven't photographed any of this either. So this is part two. <laughs> I'm keeping this one. That, that baby's mine. <laughs> and the Viseart palettes go for $25. So I got a total of one, two, three, Twelve items, and grand total when you add up retail price, three hundred seventy-four dollars, and I paid one hundred seventy-five. It is what it is. I'm happy to have the stuff I have, <laughs> and like I said, me getting doubles—that's very easy for me because I am insane, as you all well know. Bring it upstairs. Everybody else having a great day, I hope. All right, that I, that I need to photograph. That can stay. That can stay. Hair tie. Skin care. Scalp massager. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Oh, Wayne. I'll leave him with Wayne. Wayne will stay with Wayne. Right. Ah. Everything right inside the bubble wrap. Here, I'll show you the box like everybody else. See, it comes with a box like this. Wowza. Okay. Woo. Yeah, Shanta Guy is good, but they're friggin' expensive. <laughs> That's a good one, Teresa. She, she doesn't name the person. Uh, it's funny to read, though. There was an influencer today talking about bunny rabbits being on all, all the packaging. She thought it was a cute idea. And Teresa's thinking, someone please tell her that it's your of the rabbit. <laughs> Which it is. Because every year everybody does the lunar makeup, and it's always red fucking packaging. <laughs> And whatever her theme it is. I, I mean, the girl tried, I guess. The Sonia G brushes are expensive. No, I didn't get the Blind Bunny, Caitlin. That was a good girl. I have all those shades. Oh, good girl, Teresa. You didn't get any doubles in your lucky bag. Lucky girl. Oh, I hope you're feeling better, Miss Laura. Oh, my God, poor Nixon's been sick all week. Oh, no. Oh, poor Patty's trying to find a power pack for her camera. Apparently, it doesn't like to record more than half an hour. Welcome to my world of, mine gives me, what, 20 minutes? And I have a power brick thing that I plug that into. I have all the compartments open on it to let air get in. Mine, when I first started, I love my camera, my Sony A5100. When I first got it, that bitch would let me record for an hour, easily. <laughs> and it just started going back and back, and now I'm lucky if I get 20 minutes. Pisses me off. Oh, thank you, Laura. Like the hair, the hair's like, wow. After today, I'm supposed to have, I can't put these sleeves up. Okay. Have a drink. Okay, so this would be the Beautylish regular box. Um, $75, like I said, plus ship, shipping and handling, I guess they're calling it. And Gina picked this up for me. And this one, like I said, $75. I'm not going to conclude shipping because... <clears throat> All right. And this would be the light. I believe it's light medium they do. I even lose my fucking voice after all day of screaming up and down the stairs and everything. Uh, R & Co. High Dive Moisture Shine Cream. They make nice hair care products too. So this I will definitely <clears throat> give a, sh a try. Just probably just like, you know, at the ends do it where... That's where I'm always putting most of my product is at the ends. Trying to keep them... Well, you do get... How many ounces of product in there? Five ounces of product, so that's a shit ton of product. Sorry, I'm just banging everything here. Uh, that retails for $34. This 
one I could use without a doubt. This is the Builder Brush. So again, just beautiful. Gorgeousness. Let's put this back in the plastic so I know that I can wash it. And this brush retails for $26. What's not bad? I think Wayne's brushes are 20 something dollars for one, but you'll have this brush forever. At least I'll have this brush forever. You can put it in the fucking casket with me. <laughs> So we got the Sonya G, which is always yay. And almost every year, that's what uh, when I first got my first Lucky Bag was years ago. That was like when I got my first Wayne Goss brush. And I was just like, oh my god, this is fabulous. And that's when I went nuts and went back and like started buying all his brushes. Like a fucking lunatic. Oh, thank you, Teresa Thomas. I'll feel better. My phone I'm filming with. Uh, I have a... Uh, what the fuck is it? A Sony? No, Sony. It's a fucking Android thing. Samsung S21 Ultra. It's just my phone that I use. My cell phone. <laughs> All right. Uh, Good Molecules, the Ultra Hydrating Facial Oil, which I actually had to check my stash on this because oh, do I have this? But this might be new. This is one of the littler bottles. But the little bottles, little goes a long way. You don't really need a lot when any bottles are this small. You know, a couple drops and you're good to go. But I already had the squalene one open, the rosehip oil. I have three other little ones open, so I'm not opening this one yet. But I'll definitely damn well use it. And the um, Good Molecules, 10 bucks. You can buy Good Molecules at Good Molecules. I have some link below, I think, for Good Molecules. Tap one if you feel like it. <laughs> Ulta has them. And obviously, Beautylish. They're made by Beautylish. All right. Got another Wayne Goss. Another Eye Coal. And Granite, which I believe is the gray shade. I'm not going to swatch it. I'll look at it. It's gray. Nice gray shade. You do have to sharpen these, just so you know. And these are $14. All right. It's a little more mob beauty. <laughs> so again, I haven't taken this apart yet. You buy a lipstick case. I think this is what, five. Most of the capsules are like $5. So there's the case. Where the fuck is all my mob? I just can't get to it over here. And then you take the lipstick out of here, which is M58. I'm not going to swatch it, but I'll just show you how it pops in. Easy to rip open packaging because it's all recyclable. Has the little stop for there. Snap it in, put the top on, you're ready to go. M58, like I said, I got a Mob Beauty video. Go check it out. There should be swatches of everything I have up till this. Great part. Actually, they just launched um, new highlighters. I'm like, oh, oh, you know me. I'm always good for a highlighter. So the Mob Beauty, the little the lip, reusable lipstick case is five bucks. And then the lipstick is 22. And I'd say there's probably got to be like 14, 15 shades right now. Because they're always making more shades. And they're doing like collabs with other makeup artists and things like that. And then having them make their own shades. And then putting them out. It's really cool. But the products are nice. Just really nice products. Oh, I've done that, Laura. Laura's giving her skin a break this weekend. She put on too many different retinol serums at once the other night. <laughs> You should like the super group. I love super group. Great products. I, I've done it too. Where I didn't realize, like, did I put this on? Like I said, because sometimes you walk away and I come back and I'm like, why is my face on fire? I'm like, oh God, I just mixed this and this, which really should go together. We've all done it. It happens. All right. Another Vizzy Art palette. Yay. This one I do own. So this one already has a house it's going to. This is the lavender, I call it lavender, lavender. 
Oh, it helps me pop it. Twenty-five dollars. Right there, gorgeous purple. The, I'll just pop this off so you can see it without the. I think there's only one shimmer in here. Yes, three mattes, and this is like a shimmery shade. She does put the shades, just so you know, on the back of the boxes. <laughs> I never put them anywhere. But this already has a home it's going to, too. Oh, shit, I forgot to put the plastic thing back on. Bad girl. Oh, the gel on. Actually got my Ulta order today. As we're in the garage, I hear some door slam on my driveway. I'm like, uh, huh. Go up, run out the freaking door. There's a guy with Ulta box. I'm like, okay, got that one quick. And then another Wayne Gospel <laughs> in amber. <laughs> I think it's amber. Yes, it's amber. So both the amber palettes, they already have homes that they're going to. And like I said, those are $55 and they're worth every dime. <laughs> Okay, so for the $75 box that I paid $75 bucks for, my retail value came to $191. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. Because I'm just counting the mob as, or the lipstick, whatever it is, as one. Because, you know, you can sep you know, buy them separately. But not bad, you know. To get Viseart, Mob Beauty, Sonia G., Literally, you know, a couple of Wayne products, Viseart. This is an awesome fucking bag. <laughs> if you're not a psycho like me who owns everything Wayne has. <laughs> but that's where my girlfriends get to luck out. <laughs> so I was like, I was hoping they were at least been two different palettes. Or I was like, I saw a couple of people got like the Hindash. I'm like, well, that would have been nice to get in like the XL box of give me that palette. But I think people were getting the Hindash palette in this box like the 75 dollar box the fucking hen dash pal it's like 80 dollars so it's like okay that one item literally covered the whole box i was like okay but it is what it is like i said you don't know what you're gonna get and for me i doing mystery boxes i usually can't but i just did a depth had a mystery box and i haven't ordered from a depth in two years and everything in the box they already said is brand new brand new so I didn't have to worry about getting double. So as soon as that shit launched, me and Caitlin are on there fucking buying it like hotcakes. What do you mean? Who does Viseart? Where you could buy it? You could buy Viseart at Beautylish, Viseart, Muse Beauty Pro. Uh, probably maybe that Camera Ready Cosmetics or just fucking Google it. They're sold. Sephora. Direct from Viseart. I usually do Muse Beauty Pro just because I pick up my Scandinavia stuff there. But I order direct from Viseart too. I ordered, I ordered them from everybody. Yeah, it is a Google. You just put in Viseart. A hundred fucking stores will show up where you can buy it. <laughs> like I said, I should have swatches of possibly all that. Nora was a bad girl, broke her no buy. Hey, you made it like 20 days, you get a figure, so that's pretty damn good. Got a couple staples, picked up the next blurring foundation. And the, yeah, that's a shot in the dark. You just kind of got to go with it. Yeah, even mine looked yellow going on, but then somehow it kind of looked better. Anastasia is the owner of Busy Art. woman-owned she used to basically only sell back in the day to makeup artists it was more of a makeup artist brand where they use them in movies and tv shows and all that because i came across them at the beauty shows in new york that i would go to imats or well i definitely found them at imats because that's one of the places so they must have had like their stuff at probably maybe the muse beauty pro booth or something they were somewhere but when I first saw the palace, don't forget, like the 12 pans, I was like, holy shit, these things are $80. 
you know, retail. But then at the show, they would some more than the 20% off like Sephora does more than it would be like $64. It would be like 50 bucks or something. So I remember like, they, I went, okay, fuck it. You know, I'll buy it. I'll buy one. Bought one. And I was just like, holy shit. <laughs> this fucking guy show was amazing. And then probably went to the next show because my shows were already separated by like three weeks. And then I probably went to the makeup show after that. And they would have been there again, either as their own booth or with another booth. Because the booths will kind of work in tandem. Because the booths can be expensive. So, you know, brands will like share the expense. And the next time I just went berserk and brought probably about three, six of them, whatever the hell. <laughs> and I was hooked. You're welcome, Teresa. I can't believe I got my old order today, though. Shipped on, I think I did the order on Wednesday. Probably got the email Thursday that it shipped. I'm like, yeah, I'll see that shit next week. And here's the guy fucking rolling in with it today. Going, what the fuck? I thought my truck move box was coming today, but I guess not. I love the thing. It's amazing whenever I saw Fizzy Art in, like, Boxy Charm. Going, that's the time to fucking grab those pallets, ladies, of... Because I would pay full price without a fucking doubt for a Fizzy Art pallet. But now, I just kind of wait. Hey, Terry. <laughs> And like I said, I'll do it through like Muse Beauty Pro. I have a discount with them. And so if maybe they throw it out, you know, stuff on sale, then I'll grab it. Because you know me, I have so goddamn much. I'll go, the pallets aren't going anywhere. She just launched three of them for Christmas. I think that's where the other one, the part two, is the one that I don't have. Because I know I had part one. Because <laughs> I know I have this one, <clears throat> this regular lavender one. I was going to pull like the Wayne and that and anything I had doubles of, I was going to swatch, but I didn't expect today to happen. So not like you ever expect that crap to happen. But it is what it is. I, have, I should probably look at the porch and see if Trend Moves out there. I thought it was coming today. That's the way to do it, ladies. Yep, they've gotten all their busy arts at Ipsy and BoxyCharm. Right on. Everybody saying hi to everybody. I have the nice. We're not doing three hours tonight, though, ladies. I don't know how far we're in here. Forty minutes. What's that say? Yeah, maybe an hour. Even my voice is all fucking shot again. It's from running up and down the fucking stairs all day. And in and out and yelling back and forth. Turn the water on. Turn the water off. Those are trying to see like find which pipes go to where. I gotta go to the fucking town hall. They see if they have specs for my plumbing here. I doubt they do. Because the guy who built my house was a plumber. So, like I said, I have six zone heat. I can fucking do heat, basically, in every fucking room. Or heat a garage. I, the guy was fucking nuts. Three full-size bathrooms. Two bedrooms. Got bathrooms coming out of my ears over here. You know, pipe fucking clogged. What a day. But just getting the massage last night. Between that and all this today, I'm just like... Oh my God, I'm gonna sleep tonight. I'm gonna sleep like a fucking baby tonight. <laughs> and if I don't, then I really got some fucking issues. Terry's currently in a no buy sitch. Anyone else? Terry, I'm, there's a few. I know, <laughs> I did get over COVID, all the stressful plumbing. I need rest, I agree. Nix is out of no buy and going strong. Good girl. Hello, Miss Tammy. I've been watching for over 20 minutes. Oh, we're all doing fabulous. Well, hopefully. <laughs> I'm Patty. When did she work customer service? I would say my name is Patty and they'd call me Connie. What do I get? Yeah. They said Brenda, I'll get Rhonda. Half the time, if I, if, I hate Starbucks and all that, but if we're somewhere where they're like, name, even if I like, went to a Chili's, I don't give a fuck, wherever. And they'd be like, oh, you gotta wait, name. I'm like, blue. I'm like, what? Blue. Blue hair? Just fucking blue. <laughs> they just laugh. <laughs> they're gonna fuck my name up anyway. Nope, Patty's maxed out for January. No more buying. <laughs> Oh, you know where we're going to do some damage, girls, is Ulta. 
y'all hopefully, hopefully all follow trend mood because i did fucking happy dance dior and natasha denona going into ulta it's like fuck yeah i have you know me i'm always sitting on 300 fucking dollars plus of ulta money bring it bring it on we got But I still check, check Selfridges because Selfridges seems to have cheaper prices definitely on Dior. Yeah, Tom with his another $90 this fucking palette used to be what, 80 or 85? <laughs> the smoked cherry one. They are, that is a pretty palette. They're all fucking pretty. But the, I think I have one. Tom Ford. He's around here somewhere. I have one, two tops, but I did not pay no fucking full price for those. No fucking way. Ooh, Caitlin, is there anything good at Marshall's? I haven't gone. Laura's dying laughing over here. When I went, what was it, CJ Maxx, when I buy crap last week, about a fucking frother. That thing's kind of cool, though. Kind of like that little fucker. I was like, oh, I wonder if it'll work with, like, the International Delight Screamer. It does. Just put the little thing there. <laughs> Makes it all foamy. All right. Like I said, this was um kind of half coffee. The rest is booze, and I'm almost done. <sighs> Fucking tasty, though. Oh, you got more Pat McGrath. Fuck, all right, I'll have to go this week. Because I knew it, it's going to take at least a month, I figured, from Christmas, you know, trying to blow it out at their own stores, and then it's going to start launching into goddamn... Um, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, all that's got to, fucking got to. I think I was looking online at TJ Maxx, and there was like no more of the Christian Louboutin. Like, okay, we'll get another round of that shit in. I was always checking on there too, because you know, not, I might throw Pat McGrath online, so I always be online too. Nice haul, girl. She got the circle blush palette, the other eyeshadow palette, and lip. nice. She makes nice lipsticks. But I don't know. Some people complain about her packaging breaking on them. Luckily, that hasn't happened to me yet. With you know, she has like the little lips on the pack. I don't have any right here. They're over there. <laughs> on the other side. <laughs> Ah, uh, the Lake Crusette. I would have probably taken that too. <laughs> Patty Salmon, TJ Maxx. All right, we gotta definitely do that then. Oh, that'd be nice, Teresa. So Teresa's hoping to get the Scott Barnes contour palette and Ipsy uh, Glam Bag X. Oh, what a good boyfriend, and he bought her some of it. What a good boy. Keep me in check. <laughs> Even Greg busted my balls of so he went out back for something. He was gone like five minutes. I think I was starting to cook dinner. He comes in. All right, what the fuck else should break? I've been gone five minutes. <laughs> Nothing yet. Give me give me an hour. <laughs> I'm like, I was scared to death to do laundry. Going, oh my God. You should, you should, I got it, but it's going to flood. <clears throat> At least I, I can't say it was flooded. It wasn't. It, but the water was fucking there. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? But I'm more concerned of how the plug. Maybe all the pressure on it. Push the damn thing out. Because it's one of these where you, you can just tell like you're turning the, you know, to crank it. And it's like expanding out. So either the seal had given where it was already contracted in. And with the water. But thank God it was just water. Thank God it wasn't like the actual septic system backing up where shit's coming out. Because, wow. That, that would have fucking day over. <laughs> But it was still just, it was a lot of work. I want the Scalp Detox hair product. That, that was Briogeo? The scalpy thing? That was Briogeo. Got my notes. Yeah, it was 18 bucks. Probably at Ulta. They sell Briogeo there. God, you guys just calm me down. It's amazing. How the fuck do you do that? <laughs> I fucking make up everywhere over here. But I am really excited. But look at the size difference in these brushes. <laughs> like, holy shit. I mean, look at 
the size of that beast. I, for me to be confused what to do with a brush is like, <laughs> it doesn't happen very often. I, I mean, I'm going to have to go on Sonia G's website and I'm, I guess she usually does a lot of videos on her brushes and look of what that, what am I supposed to do with this big ass brush? Because I mean, I could use it for fucking highlight. Because it's dense. You know, it's very dense. I mean, I can literally put eyeshadow on with like one swipe and be done. Go, ah, done. All right. Talk about a fast get ready with me. Oh, here we go. It's eyeshadow brown. Okay, done. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to look into this. One. What do I do with that worker brush? Because that is a, the biggest fucking brush I've ever seen for an eye brush. Oh, yay. Teresa redeemed points for the refreshment shampoo. It should be in the Glam Bag X. Yeah, I'm actually going to get that. I had to apply for it, which was a first. Whatever. I got approved, of course. For Glam Bag X. Remember they sent the last one all of a sudden, like, out of the fucking blue. Glam Bag X showed up here. And that was, like, the bag. But they didn't. But then I don't think they sent the little one and plus. But see, I already get plus and the X. So I had two X's. And I'll have two this time. So hopefully in one of those boxes, maybe I'll get that goddamn Scott Barnes. I couldn't believe I had to apply for it. I'm like, you know, fucking email. Like, I'm like, what? All right. Filled it out and done. You're smoking without me, Laura? What the fuck? <laughs> Go on, Sonia G. Sweet Temptations. Yeah, I'll definitely check her out. Teresa's having her dry red wine. Very nice. I know I, I think there are added items. I think you know how this shit just, it happens to all of us. It just jumps in the fucking cart and it's there. <laughs> After I open the box, I'm like, I think I picked this. I might have picked this. And you think my dumb ass would just go to my page quickly before I come down to film the fucking video and just take notes on something and go, I picked this, I added this on, or whatever. I'm like, holy shit. Because one of them, didn't we just get to pick a, was that, I think that was boxy, the rare beauty foundation. It's like, okay, shot in the dark, but, and that's where I jumped over to like, Ulta or Sephora and was like, all right, let me try to look at these colors on here instead of looking on the computer screen. Going, wish for the best. That whatever number I picked, hope it works. Oh, wait a minute. Would you would you fucking do uh, speaking of the effing car? I swear no, I assume that you have burned it sold out in minutes. Oh yeah, you got the serum. The vitamin C one. It's nice. Once I used up the other vitamin C, I went to that one and a couple drops, even you can just I, I call it like a rail of the whole little absorbs quickly, doesn't leave you greasy. I like it. I like all her products though. The Laura's stole right now. I can't remember shit. <laughs> I'm not far behind you. And I let I did leave it upstairs. I was like, I ordered a new part for the uh vapey thing. And I'm like dumbass, so I hit it before I came down, I just took one hit. And I put it back, and that was the one I was trying to leave down here so I can like, smoke occasionally. <sighs> oh my god, these brushes are nice though. Jesus. Gotta see what Wayne's doing. Is he coming out with more makeup? Or oh my god, he got even if, if he did stop making brushes, I would freak, but at the same time. I have a ton of his brushes, and they'll go in the casket with me, too. Whoever buries my ass going to have to get a big-ass fucking casket. Because I want the Vizzy art. <laughs> All my good brushes. Toss them in. <laughs> I'm not walking back up those fucking stairs. <laughs> I'm going to crawl up them when I'm done here. <laughs> I'll have it next week. I can't believe I left it up there. Probably because these fucking sweatpants I have on didn't have any pockets. Goddamn women's sweatpants, fuckers. Because that's when I go, oh, I put my phone in there. And, you know, Oh, let me grab the thing. Oh, let me grab what else I need. Because just walking down the stairs with a cup of coffee. I've never been a waitress, and I never could be a waitress. So, no way. My mother 
warned me when I was a teenager of, no, that's not for you because my mother was a waitress for years. She just knew with my attitude of a customer gave me shit, they'd be launched their whole fucking dinner on top of them. I wouldn't last a day. <laughs> so I laugh sometimes if the coffee's like, you know, too filled. I'm like down the stairs. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's going... <sighs> so I can never carry a fucking thing of drinks. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't want to make no double ended brushes. Hell no. I, I love my Eve Pro brush that I used the other day for a double ended brush. But in general, see, I have to keep those over in the drawer with all the Eve Pearl. Because obviously, if you put, I can't put the brush end down in here, it will get fucking crushed. So, unless you, you, you know, you're keeping your flat drawers and keeping those flat, because they do make some really damn good double sided brushes. But to store them, it's like the little drawers here, I don't even think they fit any of them. I don't think they're long enough for most of my brushes. Nick, because I'm a chef, not a waitress in any way. I'm too bossy and sassy. Chefs, they just have too much fun. But my mother always got along with the chefs, even though they're chasing me around the kitchen and all this. And she'd be like, I'm married. You know, come on, boys. But she always knew, you fuck with the chef, he's going to fuck you over. And he's going to say, fuck your table and go to the next and don't be an asshole to the chef. My mo- but my mother's always nice to everybody. She will kill you with fucking kindness before she calls you a stupid bitch. As I'm the one who would be like, fuck you, you stupid bitch. <laughs> But yeah, she knew as a teenager, no, you will not be waitressing fucking tables or doing any of that. No, Laura, we all do it. Laura wants to know if she's the only one that never uses or throws away brushes that comes in pouts. I'll either keep them on the side, like Teresa said, she'll just give them to somebody else. Rarely I'll leave them in there. Just because even when I'm photographing outside, <clears throat> a lot of times I'm holding stuff up in the air. Not an angle. So the brush is going to fucking fall out anyway. So I have to have the brush. If it's in there, it's a miracle if it's in the picture. Cause... But I have drawers of brushes like our all our brush junkies. I have brushes over here, over here, over there, over there. They're fucking everywhere. But you fall in love with your brushes that you love. And you see me use the same kind of brushes over and over and over. It's like she doesn't want to mess them up until ready to declutter them. Because <laughs> we declutter so much. <laughs> Fucking bad. I mean, you, you know you're going to hurt when the massage therapist is saying to you, oh, girl, I'm fucking exhausted after working on you. Oh, you leave them in the palette. Okay. But like, you can leave it in there. Nothing wrong with that. Why not? Then if God forbid you needed a brush, you got one. <laughs> no, they are. They're hard to store. They really are. Night, Nicks. I'm not far behind you, darling. Hi, Tracy Lee. Yeah, tonight. tonight's a short one. I'm a hurt fucking unit. <laughs> like my shoulder, like the my shoulder blades. I'm fucking fire right now. It's absolute fire. Fucking painful. But I don't usually get lit up before I come on here. You know that. I'm a good girl. This bubble wrap over here. I, mean, I can't go wrong with busy art, but they. I'm just laughing over it because I started watching, like I said, other videos, see what people got. And nobody knew who my Beauty was. And I'm just like, really? You're not a beauty junkie, though. <laughs> or they just maybe they don't shop on HSN, QVC, and all that because, or it's all who you follow on Instagram. It's going to come down to. I follow the makeup show and all that, so you know. Then Mob Beauty popped up, or uh, who would it have been? Kevin James Ben. He probably was talking about Mob Beauty, and I was like, "What brand? You got it." Bam! Over to their page. Ooh, cool products. Cool. And I remember my first order was. I need just in for them. And Teresa's gonna catch a couple Hallmark movies after this. And my mom loves those. 
Oh my god, poor Patty, her whole body hurts tonight, hoping that the proxen kicks in. We have a birthday party to go to, and we need to get ready for our whatnot sale on Tuesday. Holy shit, girl. You ain't got nothing better than a proxen? <laughs> Trust me, I'm going to go eat a couple uh, muscle relaxers. Quitty smoke, smoke, smoke. Like I said, this was basically half booze, so good there. I'm actually going to take a hot fucking shower, which I never do. <laughs> but I just want a hot shower. I was like a couple nights ago. Okay, it's my knees. Oh, God, we're all just aching. It's the fucking weather, too. It, again, here, it's just fucking rainy. Well, it's rained almost all day yesterday. And it stopped sometime maybe 5 o'clock. And I, then I kept talking about fucking snow and then no snow, but it was fucking cold today. Having that goddamn garage door open. Finally, we were like, fuck it. We have, you know, extension cords and literally the fucking hose going under the door. I'm like, fuck it. Just shut the damn door. Because my biggest thing was Indy Blue loves to go in the garage. But luckily the cats, they don't like when we're making a lot of noise and going crazy. I only saw Kuka come down once. We kind of looked over, looked at me, and went, mm, you ain't coming over here. And she just went right back upstairs. I was like, good kitties, because they could have ran right out the fucking garage if me and Greg are both in the pipe. And I'm holding the flashlight, and you know, they could have cruised right out and right out the fucking door. But luckily, we were like, no, let's shut the fucking door. It's 30 degrees outside. One of you is playing with my wires. Miss Indy Blue. Mommy hurts too bad. I'm not picking you fucking up. Stop touching that. She will shut. Oh, you tell Greg to get on that damn massage. <laughs> I got mine yesterday. I mean, even when I was on the table, you know how if, if you get a massage, it gets your everything moving in your body. And it rarely happens with me, but even my sinuses were starting. I'm like <laughs> on the table going, oh, fuck. And then when I came home, man, I just fucking unloaded. But I know I've had, like I said, I've had a sinus infection, like, before. even after they did that surgery shit. I was just like, yeah, they're still there. No, it hasn't. Oh, it's been cold here, but there's been, like, no fucking snow here in, here in Connecticut. It's been weird. Like I said, my fucking trees, they're, like, just falling over. I have six acres of land. And I got fucking trees. I'm laughing. They're they're literally falling like this. There's big X's where it's like half out of the ground. <laughs> like they're not even on the ground. They're just falling over. I thought I was hallucinating. Was it yesterday or the day before? I was coming down. And I'm always looking at the trees. I mean, see what the fuck's going on in my yard. I swear the plants are trying to bud. Cause it's been like 55 fucking degrees here, over 40. And trees have their own thing. Like when winter's coming, they pull all their sap in. And that's why the you know the tree dies and all this. When it gets warm, oh, they go, oh, it's warm. And they start to re -put I go, oh my God, are my fucking trees budding? It's fucking middle of January. Like, this is going to destroy the fucking trees again. Because I have so many fucking trees down. It's just like, wow. I, I could probably ice skate out fucking front. Or go for a fucking swim because my I have wetlands too. A certain time with all the fucking rain. Oh yeah, I could go on a flea out there. Fucking float around the goddamn front yard. Greg is looking for a very white playlist. I don't think that his idea of a massage and mine are the same. Patty, you're going to get a happy ending. <laughs> you don't even have to pay extra for it. You're getting a massage with the happy ending. Get it, girl. <laughs> oh, fucking die. that girl's going to die laughing. What's the point of a massage if you ain't going to fuck me afterwards? <laughs> get that out Mm. I'm back. <laughs> Painful. All right, one more smoke and we're calling it the night. Where we are. One, did I do an hour? Am I in an hour? Right at an hour. All right. One more smoke. I'm going to go take a hot ass shower. Are you going to go fuck with my nail polish again, you little shit? 
Just gonna start throwing the wet and wild out the fucking there, man. Yeah, so don't worry. I got, um, oh my god, I got the Minnie Mouse collection in from Revolution. Make up Revolution. I did post it on Instagram. It's fucking adorable. <laughs> this shit is like crazy pigmented looking. I'm just like, wow. The blushes, the highlighters. Probably. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Depends on how I feel. If not tomorrow, I'll do a Monday, like afternoon. I like to do the Makeup Revolution ones, kind of like during the day. And those we tend to keep on the cleaner side. You know how that goes. <laughs> I know I'm going to watch a video. When I get up there, I'm going to watch it. I want to see the kitty. Oh my God, what am I? I there's some TikTok, man, they get there. I don't even know the username. It's one of those weird usernames, but I'm pretty sure they're in China. And they're always like showing how to make, like today the guy made um, persimmon vinegar. And it literally said this shit took a year of fermenting. A fucking year. And they got, you know, the big old fucking casks out there. Or, you know, they're like clay. These people will make, you literally watch them make the fucking cotton somehow and then turn that into a fucking outfit. When, what the fuck? But occasionally a little show with the video, like the kitties, the doggies. Oh my God. They had little baby. I swear to God, they were Akitas. So you had the mama laying there with all the puppies feeding. And a couple of them were bouncing around. I was just like, oh my fucking God. I like said it to Greg. I'm like, just watch this goddamn video. Cause it's one of those ones. It's a kind of a long video, which is cool. Very calming, like music. I know there's a couple of channels I watch because one's like the, the girl and then her little child and like the shows them out getting the wheat and you know how the fuck they make everything. It's just like, holy shit. I mean, they're like putting plants out that are fucking green. You know, it's like greenery. Next thing, they're putting it in the fucking pot with water and whatever the fuck they're doing. And next thing, they have blue dye somehow. I'm like, how the fuck did you just take those plants that were green and turn them like dark or fucking blue than my hair like dark fucking blue pigment going okay and unfortunately the only problem is they don't have english subtitles so sometimes they'll put up the chinese symbols but i go i don't know how to read mandarin or any of them <laughs> kind of fucked but like the videos are just fun to watch but to see those little goddamn akitas i was just like Motherfucker, now i want a goddamn akita but they are adorable and then today in one of the videos they had little kittens and they're fucking running around and beating the shit out of each other. I'm just like, oh my God. I'm like, what's this guy making again? <laughs> now, everybody check out Granny Beauty and Boxes Over 65. Go follow her if you're not following her. Granny Beauty and Boxes Over 65. She has some kick-ass videos. Granny has fun too. She has fun with the hair colors and She's makeup junkie like the rest of us. She she goes nuts too. We're all fucking crazy. You can't help it. Yeah, I, I didn't even get the fucking mail today. Trend mood could be sitting down there, but usually trend mood comes by. That would be on my route or not Shopify, the other fucking one that tracks it. So there's no way it would have came today because I would have had those notifications without a doubt. Or it'd be on my fucking front porch. Oh, you're welcome, Pam. And Pam is granny. <laughs> no, we all try to always follow each other and watch each other. Like poor Linda, I always miss her lives. I'm like, I gotta make sure I go through and have all these goddamn bells set. But I think Linda was live one time when I was live. So I go, I can't go live. <laughs> oh, yeah, Patty's gonna have a video too. Patty's is Patty, K-L-U-G, 1975. She recorded her second lucky scoop from Oprah two times and got rid of the buzz on the second filming. I should try to get it up tomorrow night. Oh God, the refilming is the worst. Oh, Teresa hasn't opened her trend mood yet. Well, we already know what's in it. <laughs> I hope you use the code that they gave you, Teresa, in the email. Like you use the code trend mood and I think she gave you like 10 or 20% off. What the hell was it this time? 10 or 20? Because it was normally 44 I swear we only paid like 30 something dollars with tax. I want to say she took 20% off. Yeah, 
that Patty makes fun videos too. She got this damn wheel behind her that I just want to fucking spin. I just want to spin the fucking wheel. Like Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been looking into them. Because then we can sit here and spin the wheel and go, what eyeshadow? What lipstick? What blush? <laughs> I was just glad my ult order. Nothing was broken. Because you know them. Well, let's just heave the shit in the fucking box. And they had the bubbly stuff this time, which was shocking. And actually, there was a piece of actual bubble wrap on the bottom. But still, it's just like, oh my god. One of them's a, like I said, I bought all drugstore on the old order. Love you too, Patty. <laughs> Why not? I think I got a bigger essence palette and then one of the trippy ones where it's going somewhere. Welcome to wherever the fuck it was. <laughs> one of the new ones. Oh, that was a good one. Well, my neck sounds like fucking Rice Krispies right now. Ah, Laura did the drugstore too. <laughs> well, there was some new stuff. And like I said, I got the elf camo. Because this bitch here on my nose is just driving me nuts. This fucking red one. I keep hitting it with vitamin C every day because that's why I always try. Uh, like I use anything that says for dark spots. This bastard. There was. Oh, there's two here. This one and this one. And this fucking line over here. I still don't know where the fuck that came from, but. What the hell's happening here? My skin is so dry right now. I haven't sprayed anything down here because I don't have any of my facial sprays. Caitlin's going to be placing a big alt order soon. <laughs> yep, I did get the Norris freebies. Okay, so I did order on Wednesday then. It had been Wednesday. What was there? There was a lippy and two other things, I think. An eyeliner and a mascara. Climax mascara, love it. The eyeliner is probably Vino Venito, whatever the fuck it's called, and a lippy. Nars has introduced Teresa to more items in their skincare line. Nice. Oh, okay. Laura saw the new Essence palette. Yeah, I think there was three of them. They were bigger. I want to say there was like three different shades. So, of course, I was going between, like, the first one and the third one. And I think I went with the third. The first one, we can't go by these online fucking pictures. I go, ah, that looks a little on the darker side. So, I went with the third one, whatever the fuck name it is. Yeah, there's another city. And then there's a bigger palette. What the hell city is this one? I don't know what the hell this one is. I don't even know what it is. It was pretty. I was just glad it wasn't smashed. But um, I think I think it was Essence. Also, when they had the makeup remover, the dual action, so I bought that because I was like, "Ooh, same price basically as J Cap, give or take." But I'm you know I'm always looking for you know affordably priced eye makeup removers because that's the first thing I take off. Patty almost ordered the Elf Good Vibe set. There was hardly anything to it. I can't wait to see the eye palettes and stuff. I think I saw those too, and I'm like, I got, I want to see some of this stuff. And even when I was in CVS, I looked at for the Flower Beauty. I did that before work on Thursday. I said, fuck this, I'm going to CVS first. <laughs> Ran in, went right to the Flower Beauty display. was like, okay, they're not there. And this CVS across from work. Those fuckers put the shit up top. And then down random fucking aisles, like sometimes like the seasonal aisle, where it'll be like, here's all the Valentine candy. And all of a sudden there'll be a fucking makeup display stuffed in the center. Like, what the fuck? So I still had to walk a good half of the fucking store just to make sure there was no other end caps and all this shit with it on there. They weren't on there. And there wasn't even a slot for those contour things. I'm like, I'll fucking find them. And then when I was driving home on Thursday, it was fucking pouring. And by then, I'd already been to the bank, the grocery store, stopped to go to Carton of Smokes. And I go, you know what? I am not getting out of this fucking truck again to run into the other CVS. So I go, fuck it. I'll go another day. Welcome to Marrakesh. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> Love you, girly. Yeah. Welcome to Marrakesh, eyeshadow ballot. Marrakesh is in Morocco. Correct. I agree, Terry. My I take better pictures than the fucking companies do. That's again because I shoot outside in natural lighting. 
and they're shooting in a studio with 10,000 fucking light bulbs. And then it's not even just that they just do that. They go in and fucking edit those fucking pictures. And, you know, play with the contrast and the fucking brightness and up and down and who fucking knows? Because we've all gotten plenty of palettes where if you're anything like me, I'm sitting at my computer with it going, this looks nothing like what the fuck is on the screen. Not even close to what the fuck is on the screen. And I'll even pull up my phone to be like, yeah, don't look like that either. <laughs> That's why nowadays it's just like, fuck it, I'll buy it. And if I don't like it, I'll fucking go back or like, I'm not going to like it. Thank you, Laura. She said, my photos are not only gorgeous, but they are very true to color. I try to get them as true to color as possible. And I don't have to fuck with light and dark and I don't have to do any of that shit usually. I can literally take the picture. I know my fucking lighting. Take the picture and all I have to do is crop the motherfucker. I'm just cropping it, you know, me with my getting to the square for the Instagram square. That's it. I do not have to sit there and go through the filters and just the light. I don't have to do any of that shit because I shoot outside. I know when the fucking picture don't match. <laughs> I got the fucking thing right in my hand going, nope, I'll take the, or I can just come in. I can even look at it and go, nope, too dark out still. I'll wait till the sun pops out like the sun was being a bitch the other day. I'd come in the house, she'd come out. I'd run back out with all the stuff. The clouds would come through. I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm standing there watching the clouds. I can see how big they are going. I'm screwed. And I'm not going to have sun for like an hour. Like 15 minutes later, sometimes the clouds would separate or something. I could see out in the front yard like, why the fuck is the sun out again? Crazy. But I know my lighting, so that's a big thing. Yeah, the Marrakesh Palette on Ulta. Last, I, I paid like, <clears throat> normally they want mark them down like six bucks. I paid the $10, $9.99, whatever. And Teresa, there's other ones too that are bigger. Mine's Sweet something, maybe. Fucking name Sweet in it, I don't know. Adrenaline has dropped. <laughs> oh, it's upstairs, Teresa. It got delivered today. I ordered it. I did all um, Elf, Essence. What the hell was the other one? Mm. It's all drugs. Wet and Wild. And something else. I did all drugstore makeup. I only spent like 50 bucks. I spent, I, that's the order where I spent $50.93 because I wanted the NARS free gift. <laughs> Good asshole. I think I got a lip liner. Even I'm like, why the fuck am I ordering a lip liner? Because I'm crazy? I don't know. I have tons of lip liners. I did not need a, well, I don't need anything, but still. <laughs> But these are nice, these J-Cat highlighters, the new ones. I mean, the other ones are fine, too, but these two are just fucking gorgeous. Yeah, but we'll, we'll find those goddamn contour things. I think Milani has them, too, but I, the Milani, I think I just bought the highlighter. Yeah. But it figures on Ulta, the Flower Beauty was like, buy one, get one 40% off. Yeah, all three shades are out of stock. Great. But I still wonder, like, how the fuck is out of stock online? Oh, God, I am fucking, wow, she worked my ass. Whew. All right, got my Sonia's over here. This is not touching. This can go upstairs. This and the good molecules. Everything else stays down here. Actually, I got to wash Sonia. Got to put Sonia in with the good molecules <laughs> so she can go upstairs. Anything else over here? And these elf lipsticks are nice, the new ones. Oh, face or some shit. Oh, something. But they're like comparable to fucking NARS. But they're $9, which is a little pricey for elf, but it's a damn nice lipstick. Oh, you're welcome. I thank you for always showing up, all my lovely ladies. Bad day or not. You guys calm me down. We talk about makeup and. <sighs> Yeah, my adrenaline has crashed right now. I love you, ladies. 
I I can I try I try to be a trooper. Like I can even Greg I'm like, babe I ain't gonna be to make no three hours today. I'll go hour hour and a half tops. Like I'll be lucky if I make that because <laughs> he's already like in the chair knocked out his ass and I was just like mm 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 mm. I'm gonna use my new heated. We ladies you gotta get a heated lotion warmer because damn damn. I am so thankful Gina bought me that damn thing for Christmas. I think I looked at it on Amazon. It was maybe like 25 bucks. And there's different brands. And I put some of that one I got in the last old order with the lavender in it. Oh my God. It smelled so nice. And it's just nice to have this hot lotion. Like anytime. Whether you want to keep it in your bedroom. I just keep mine in the bathroom. I've been unplugging it and just putting it off to the side. So kitty cats don't chew on cords or any of that crap. Just in case. Oh my god, it's just like oh a little extra self-love. Nice, very nice. I I don't know how I didn't know about him either, Terry. I was like, how the fuck do I not have an I, where has this been for the last 30 years of my fucking life? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? How have I not owned one of these? Thank you, Miss Gina. <laughs> Wait, I haven't lost a knit. I lost two nails today. <laughs> Yeah, I just looked on Amazon, and the one she bought me is Conair, the C-O-N-A-I-R. I swear it was like 20, 25 bucks. And it heats up within like two minutes. And then you'll see the little light thing. It will go on and off. So if you don't use it, like it gets only so warm, and then it like shuts itself off. So if you start pumping the lotion again, you might see it come back on. And, oh my God, but it's, it's like it just, you know, sucks right into your body, maybe because it's warm. But it feels so nice, especially when you get out of the shower and everything. Oh, this is toast. Or just regular going, ooh. I might have to buy her two of them. One in her bedroom, one in her bathroom. Yeah, Conair is a good brand. I think there was a couple other ones. They were probably like 50 bucks. And I'm like, I pay 50 bucks of 25 and it works. And it works. <laughs> just some, and you just, I just, like I said, I normally have more body butters, you know, the thick ones. So that. I don't know if you'd want to put that in there because I don't know if it would be able to melt that texture enough. And I don't want to fuck with it and find out. So I just went and I started, buying, I'll just buy regular lotion that I would use. Like, I, what the hell was the other one? Dr. Teal's or whatever. And it was like lavender and nighty night time and all this crap to it. Like, okay. I, mean, it's not like I don't have regular lotion. I do, but you know, what the fuck? <laughs> but normally, I, to me, I'm like, oh, the body butters are thicker and. Like, oh, I'm getting more moisture, which who knows if you fucking are. Probably not. Oh, um, Dossier. They came out with their own fragrances. I got an email. I read their email quickly. It was like, holy shit, they made their own scents. So they're not like duping anybody's or inspired by whoever you want to say it. But they came out with their own. So I'm definitely going to have to go on Dossier and check out like what the fragrance notes are. And I'll definitely have to grab a few. Like I said, the poor girl just sent me three when I had no taste or smell. Which I got that back. Luckily, that was only like a week. If I had to go any longer than that, I would have been fine. But it's just, it was annoying more than anything. All right, my loves. Everybody go get a lotion warmer. <laughs> Especially in this fucking weather. Thank you, ladies, for showing up tonight. I know I'm no makeup, just... I had it like, oh, we're going to do swatches of everything. I'll use all Wayne products and do eye looks. And sorry, it was just not in the cards tonight. Good night, Miss Pam. Good night, Miss Teresa, Miss Laura. I think Nick's already bailed. Miss Caitlin, Terry. I think I said Miss Laura. I didn't say anybody else. I think I got most of my babes. Miss Patty. Get some rest and yeah, it's going to be self-care Sunday tomorrow. <laughs> Mom's stopping over to bring Greg some uh, breads she made him. And she, oh, I'm making bread. And I got some food. Oh, good. Then I don't have to cook. <laughs> oh, thank you, Miss Laura. Yeah, expect to see me probably Monday. Maybe we'll do the makeup revolution. That'll be fun. Because you know me, I'm going to put the Minnie Mouse fucking headband on and do a couple looks. We'll have fun with it because I always have fun with that stuff. Yeah, let's all hope for a better week of, because January has sucked so far. <laughs> I think Mercury retrograde or one of the retrogrades is over. So today was supposed to like, this shit was supposed to end. Maybe this was the end of it. <laughs> Hopefully. 
because we all just want some peace and quiet. That's all we want. <laughs> oh, God. I agree 100%. Teresa is just like, January has been awful. Yep. Good night, everyone. Laura, I'm going to smoke right now so I can catch up with you. <laughs> Terry, stay well, too. A little self-care tomorrow. Tonight, right now, whenever. <laughs> but I'll see you all soon. Love y'all. Have a fabulous night. Mwah. Bye.